surprise to anyone is we are watching what's going on in Hawaii, uh, you know, being burned alive as Joe Biden sends $700 payments where Donald Trump says, guess what? I sent more to more people. Uh, this is coming out. Hawaii governor says state is looking to acquire land that was destroyed in fires. Hey, hey, conspiracy theorists who say that it was being burned so that they could finally take land that people that have been living there for a long time have never wanted to sell to these people. Conspiracy theorists, in your face, you're right again. <laughs> like, what the frick? We're going to go ahead and requ- acquire this land. For good reason. Don't worry about that. On Monday, Hawaii Governor Josh Green announced that his administration was considering acquiring properties. You want that house? That's ours. And don't look into how this fire started, okay? It's not 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 important to you. Just get over it. We're doing our best to find out who's in charge of this whole thing. Now they can find put up a gated community. Exactly, exactly. Uh, fun fact, before Maui burned down to the ground, the UN said that we were living in a world of global boiling. Oh, there's that. Then Maui burns down, and now Maui wants a byline for the WF. Well, it's for... It's 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 for the good of democracy, Papa, and that's what we're about here at the Derek O'Shea Show. Anything that supports the democracy, gaining more power over your life so that you don't have choices in the matter, that's what we're for. <laughs> you want freedom? Yeah, right, dude. You don't want freedom. You want one choice in life, and you're going to be happy about it. He vowed that uh, to prevent foreign buyers, which is just, like, so refreshing to hear. Great. Isn't that, isn't that a little... Uh, a little racist, huh? Uh, from buying, swooping, and exploit the tragedy. Suggests that the state is better suited to take control of the land. Yes. I don't want the Chinese going around and buying my land. I want my own state buying my land, for they are in favor of making my life work better. Derek, stop being a conspiracy theorist. FEMA is cutting checks to the vi- victims. Total 700 smackaroos. That's what I'm saying. 700 smackaroos. Just be happy about it. Your house is burned down. Your dog has been burned alive. But get over it. Here's $700. Go away softly. You're going to be just fine. Biden cares about you. And yes, we need another $26 million in Ukraine. But get over it. This is what our priorities are about. Hawaii is already a democracy. Okay. Idiot. <laughs> I don't care what you say. That's a nice chunk of change. Yeah, think about what $700 can do for you, okay? You can go around and buy a tank of gas if you want. Think about that. You can go in and get a couple packs of Zens for the boys and maybe some box wine and maybe a steak. And there's $700 right now, but you're going to be happy about it. You're going to be like, you know what? That fire, my whole livelihood, maybe some uh, childhood memories that were passed down by my great grandparents that, you know, are priceless. I'm not going to worry about that stuff anymore. The state is taking over my property. They're going to use it for the good. They're probably like put some solar panels on or maybe like a new school that they can indoctrinate more children. These are all good things. These are things that we should be celebrating together. Excuse me. Did you just hear my dog? <laughs> uh, I'm, we're trying to have a funny moment, and you're over there howling. Uh, it's too bad it wasn't Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> exactly. Gross negligence and greed. Well, always. Uh, I just, I'm thinking of ways the state can acquire the land so that we can put it to into workforce housing. <laughs> you know what? Communism is coming along just nicely. It's wonderful to see. You know what? You can't afford a house? Don't worry about it. The government is here to provide for you. Okay, we're going to buy up your land. We're going to burn your rich neighbor's house. And we're going to put apartments there. And you're going to love those apartments because they're going to be close to your 50-minute cities. And it's going to be great. And to put it back into the families or make open spaces in perpetuity as a memorial for the people who were lost. (laughs) We're going to take your land and we're going to make a park out of it. Oh, God. But don't worry, we'll put a we'll put a statue of your of your great grandmother who's dead from the fire, and then you can go visit her on governmental property. But if we ever get to another pandemic, we will shut that down, and you won't be able to visit your grandmother's grave. Okay, but you're gonna be happy about it. 
<laughs> Too bad it wasn't Martha's Vineyard for real. The, the real Hawaiians will be pushed out. Well, finally, because that land is my land. This land is my land. From the governmental structures to Martha's Vineyard. $700 in Maui is $21 billion to Ukraine. Sounds right. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we want this to be something we remember after the pain passes in a magic place. <laughs> so we're going to buy it up. Oh, God. You know, the government, the state, always does what's best for you and me. <laughs> and that's what matters. The tragedy right around in the loss of life, the buildings can be result and rebuild over time. Even the, the tree may survive, but we don't want to become a clear space where the people from overseas just come and decide to take it. I love that. <laughs> We don't want a bunch of Chinese coming in here and investing in our area because this is America. So we're going to have Joe Biden and his team of imbeciles to come in and they're going to figure out what works best for us. And yes, it might take 30 or 40 years, but there'll be a gate around it and maybe somebody else will buy it in due time. Maybe that'll be, you know, Obama's library, which is one, you know, 2.0. We'll have it in Hawaii, uh, Illinois, and we'll have it in Hawaii because Obama was such a great president. He deserves at least a hundred libraries, maybe a, maybe a a library in every state. We can all get a chance to touch Obama in some sort of way together. <laughs> I was told to change the word democracy to power. <laughs> that is probably wise, but at the same time, power is good with the right people in charge, John, <laughs> and it. If my team wins, then I want all the power to decide the future of everyone else in the world. That's how it works. <laughs> um, anyways, it's just wonderful to see the state is deciding to, you know, to not only freak people out about, you know, global boiling, which is wonderful to see, but the state will come in and take your land from you and find a better use for it because you're too dumb to figure it out on your own. Yeah.